Hello. Is this the manager yes. for the White Target? I'm one of the assistant managers. How can I help you? Well, are you a manager who can uh, be capable of rectifying problems, or are you a shift manager who will pass me off between smoking breaks? No, no, no. I'm, I can help you solve a problem. What's going on? Okay, I have a very serious complaint. What exactly happened? My daughter went into your Target to purchase a hat because she is out selling Girl Scout cookies. That is what she's doing right yes. now. I'm sure you're aware of this going on to raise funds for right. trips and other such festivities, right. correct? Girl Scouts. Yes. Are you a supporter of the Girl Scouts yourself? I am, actually. Yes, I was a Girl Scout once. <laughs> you were? Yes. Now, mm -hmm. let, me, let me ask you this. Did they allow grown men into the Girl Scouts back then? I'm sorry, into the what? Did they allow fully grown adult males into the Girl Scouts back then when when you were participating? Not that I'm aware of, no. Would that have made you uncomfortable? Uh, I mean, yeah, I would have. Okay. Then why in the hell would you allow grown-ass men into the ladies' room at Target while my nine-year-old daughter was there trying to simply relieve herself? So I'll tell you that um, that's actually a corporate issue. Um, we have a gender-free policy for the restrooms. This is not the first complaint that I've received for the restrooms. Um, it's just something that the company allows. Hmm. Um, now, if, for, if someone feels uncomfortable, then we do allow them to use the family restroom. It is not up front. It's actually near the pharmacy. Um, so I do apologize, you know, for her being um, uncomfortable. I can see where you're coming from. Um, but what it is does, that's a curious a term, gender-free. I'm not, I'm not familiar. What does gender-free mean? For for whom so does I mean, that apply? Target does, not discriminate. Target does not discriminate as a company based hmm. on gender. So we do allow men, women, um, transgender, bisexual of any, you know, gender, um, into whichever restroom that they prefer. So it doesn't seem that you discriminate uh, against the idea of no. discomfort for very young women around possibly no. sexually predatorial older males. This man no, offered that's... to help my daughter relieve herself using the restroom. Do you understand? The only really? reason she found out he was a man was because he decided to piss in the stall next to her standing up. It sounded like a damn fire hose. Wow. Okay. So that's actually something else. Um, can you tell me that when is she came something in? else? It is something else with which I'm entirely unfamiliar. And forgive me for being right. completely intolerant. So, no, no, no. You have you he have every right to be. He was wearing a polka dot dress and then lifted up his skirt to reveal what can only be described as an acorn squash, which has been left in the sun too long. That's how my daughter came back and described it to me. Do you understand that when I send my daughter in to buy a hat? to target. I right. do not expect her to come out in need of a biology lesson. <laughs> right. Okay. So can you tell me when this happened? Because that's, that actually sounds, you know, like something that we don't want happening at the store. We do allow, you know, anyone into the restroom that they prefer. But if that's happening in those restrooms, we need to make sure that we know what's going on. So can you tell me when she came in and yes. what time possibly? She came in on Tuesday, somewhere between okay. one and three o'clock. May I ask a follow up question? Yes. Mm -hmm. If it is your policy to allow people to use any restroom by which they identify as some made-up terminology that you've attempted to describe very unsuccessfully with gender, if that is Target's policy, please do tell, pray, how could you expect this not to happen? You know, sir, I wish I had a better response to your, your follow-up question right now. And I but wish I, I had thought, a daughter know, at nine years company. old who had yet to see a penis. So we both have things right. we're yearning for that we cannot achieve in this lifetime at this point forward. You understand? Right. No, I completely understand where you come from. You know, we are a gender-free policy restroom. Um, not everyone agrees with it, and we understand that. So, I, you know, I sympathize with you and where you're coming from on this. Um, what I am concerned with is that this behavior went on in the restroom and we weren't told about it. So, you know, we've had other people before come in, ask us, you know, what our gender policy is in the restrooms just before you, they go however, in. However, you, that, you know that is inaccurate. You were told about it. You were informed about it just now. When was I informed about it? Just now. This is how that occurs. These are, th there's something that adults use referred to as communication. Generally, that requires verbal 
uh, uh, transmission of some variety. You understand that is what is occurring at the present moment, correct? No, no, moment, no, yeah. Correct? I'm talking about whenever the accident actually happened. You know, we were not informed about it. And if we were informed about it, you know, I was not here that day. Yes. So I want to know exactly what happened. Accident is not the word I would use for this man who I can only assume is named Charles or Bob. You see, I'm being somewhat facetious. But accident is not the term I would use for a man who went out there with a blueprint on how to show the young ladies his non hoo This seems very, very much like a far cry from an accident. An accident might be my daughter dropped a pair of pants while she was looking right. through, perusing the young girl's eye. I, uh, an accident is not a man dropping his dick and balls in the ladies' restroom. Okay, so can I ask you one other question? I, 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 I am open to all possibilities at this point forward. Can you, um, does she describe what the man looked like? Scary. Frightening. Okay. Daddy, what, Anything? what happened? Daddy, what is that? Daddy, why is that different from what I use to tinkle? Hey, Daddy, why is okay. there some thread where I have a space? Hey, Daddy, what what is that supposed to do? Is that why I can't pee standing up? Hey, Daddy, where can I buy one of those? Hey, Daddy, that looks fun. These are not questions I want to have to answer my nine-year-old daughter. You understand. Right. No, I completely understand. Now, I just want to know if you can describe what this man was wearing or, you know, how he came in. Because I want to make sure I take this up with AP. Do you have so any idea how impossible it is for me to allow my daughter moving forward to use a computer? My God, all she wants to Google is what she saw in that bathroom. And I don't know. It doesn't. If, if you're familiar with Google or Bing if that's your search oh, yeah. engine of preferred choice, but it doesn't matter how many image filters you put on. That, by God, is still an unsafe query. Right. Okay, well, what I'm trying to do here is just try to solve this problem and see what exactly happened. We don't have cameras in the restroom, but we have a camera leading outside, and I would just like to check and make sure that we know who this individual was. Sure. I will accept cash. <laughs> Okay, so could you describe to me what he was wearing, or did your daughter tell you, you know, can she remember anything at all, what he what he looked like that day? Would, would uh, any variances in my description determine, in fact, what payout is offered on this phone call? So I'm going to make sure I check with AP, first of all, to see that this event did occur, and then after that I'll have to talk to the rest of the managers to see what further action is going to be taken about it. To see if this, inv if this in fact did occur. So that becomes, uh, at that point, a matter of conjecture. A he said, she, well, a he said, it said situation. Right. Mm -hmm. A he said, she with a cock said situation. A he said, okay. and she with male genitalia entirely functioning, peeing standing up next to nine-year-old girls said, okay. matter of conjecture. Okay. A he said, and okay. she sexually, predatorially, possibly molesting women in the restroom in an ongoing basis right. at the white target said. You understand right. the problem this with that? This yeah. If this happened, um, we, you know, that's a problem. It's not something that, you know, is just a gender-free policy anymore. It's something that concerns, you know, a sexual predator. So I want to make sure that... Well, all he did was pee sure standing up. So predator. is it gender-free unless, in fact, you urinate while standing? I mean, you know, whenever you go to the restroom, typically you're not urinating into the sink. So you're urinating in a stall. No, no, he did not so urinate it, into it, the no. sink. He urinated into the stall. That's how my daughter was made aware that it was a man. You understand she had never once in her life experienced somebody urinating standing up. It sounded like a pool pump set on high. He never okay, urinated so into the daughter, sink. He simply peed standing up into the toilet and and then the questions arose you understand so then was your daughter exposed to this in the same stall she was not in the same stall 
Okay, so then how did she see this person's genitalia? Afterward, he was making an adjustment. An adjustment outside of the stall? I believe so. She didn't get into graphic detail. I assume she's tried to block some of it out. <laughs> okay, so then how was she able to describe the exact, you know... This man did not actively molest her. He simply urinated okay. standing up, and there was enough discomfort that my daughter was made aware that this was a man, and then he offered to help her wash her hands. Frankly, I'd like to wash my hands of this entire memory and okay. conversation. Okay, so your daughter was not in the same stall, correct? She was not in the same stall. Okay, if I that just want to make sure that I If that were the case, case, we'd be talking about a murder trial. Okay. Well, what I can do is what I just told you. I mean, I can take it up with AP just to make sure. That Go ahead and do that. You know. And then I will call back. Next time I will be calling back with a lawyer to ensure that security footage has been pulled. And I tell you what, I will bring little Cindy over there and maybe someone can personally offer her an apology. How about that? That might okay. be a start. And I mean, no problem. We'd be more than willing to do that. Um, I do need to know um, if we're going to... How many Girl Scout I cookies will you purchase when she comes in? How many do you think... I'm sorry? How many Girl Scout cookies do you plan on purchasing when she comes in? I'll have her bring that in. That might take some measures to rectify so you know, sir, the situation. I can't promise you that. I cannot promise you that. Sure. You can only promise that full-grown men with penises will continue to use the, fi the women's restroom, but... God forbid you, know, like you said, like God forbid you pony up for a Samoa. <laughs> right. I mean, the company doesn't discriminate. However, the store managers have a say, you know, in what we can do to comfort the guests. Sure. So, like I said, if she was, if she felt uncomfortable, you know, we do deeply apologize for that. Let but me put it in a way that you might was. understand. She felt about as uncomfortable with it as apparently Target does with the Salvation Army Santas, who you so unceremoniously kicked to the curb. The fundamental difference between the two situations being that the Salvation Army Santas were not revealing their dicks to the American public. Okay. Sir, I have no comment on that. I just want to make sure that I get this story straight so that I can follow up with AP. Is that okay? You can follow up with AP. I appreciate you taking the time. Have a good day. <laughs> hey, this video is taken as a clip from the full show, Daily Show at ladderwithcredit.com slash mugclub, where it's available exclusively $69 a year. That's less than $6 a month, less than two expensive cups of coffee, or you can feed an African child. But what would you want to do? Just buy coffee or join the mug club. Daily Show, ladderwithcredit.com slash mugclub. See you there. Don't feed children.